and it'll take us a while to eat. Yeah. We hope. So we're going to call some Easter eggs and we'll show you some of that once we get oh, yeah. it all set. Easter, set Easter 2000. Okay, at this point we have prepped the cups with vinegar and now we are adding the, the colors. dye. Yes, the dye colors. Let's see what things. the first color is. All right. Yellow, orangey, yellow, sort of. We still have to put the water in. Okay. Next is blue. The next color is, we have that lotto lady. <clears throat> Green. <clears throat> Next should be violet. <laughs> no. Or red. Or pink. Right. They're fizzing. You gotta see these colors. It's cool. Look at that color. Is he fizzing? Uh, you gotta tip the cup more, huh? Tip the cup. Yeah. It was a nice thought. I try. Yeah, it's kind of a something you have to plan. It's like an alpha seltzer. Oh, okay. All right. Yellow well. and last is green. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Green. Yeah. Green. Oh, my bad. You have a couple of the same. No, they're all different colors. The second one was uh, purple. Oh. Or violet. The last one. Now okay. we have to put in a half a cup of cold water to each colored cup. Okay, and on goes the saga. Hey, uh, we're just getting ready to start uh, coloring the eggs. There are the eggs over there. These are the dyes all set up. And uh, we'll kind of take you along a little bit at a time here. Try not to bore you too much with all the details. Um, fun in Easter egg preparation. And I'll get started. And we'll show you the finished product in a few. And you can see the uh, first product of our thing. It says, Nancy is the best to egg. And then, of course, my own addition to the condition, the egg in the hood, the little guy in the bottom, as you can see him. Right there, but it doesn't have a mouth. So just, let, me, let me see if I can zoom. See him? And, uh. So ready for the Easter Bunny? Yep. I hear him hopping. He's on his way. This is our very first Easter together. Huh? That's right, our third holiday together. Third major holiday since uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yep. And, uh. We'll have plenty more. Plenty more. And, uh, we hope that you've enjoyed this little video of this particular highway, that's preparing the eggs, and that's pretty much a wrap. We'll see you. The inspiration. This is the boat that we embarked on. And here is the side view of the pretty little boat that we're on. It can hold over 2,000 people. Here we are at St. John's Beach. What's the name of this beach, hon? You don't remember? No. Uh, we'll add that. A little bit of information later. Just give you a quick pan of the beach. It's beautiful. Hi. Um, we forgot to tell you what beach we were at earlier today. Um, it was Trunk Beach and it was in St. John. And we had lots of fun. It was beautiful. The water was so clear and we had a really good time. Okay, this is day two of our cruise. This is Earl. And uh, we are at uh, Antigua today. And we're, right now we're at Betty's Hope. It's uh, some kind of a uh, old estate by uh, somebody, not sure who. <laughs> and uh, a little, there's a windmill here. And uh, we'll be showing you a little bit more today. We're going to the beach a little bit later. And uh, that's about it. The inside of the windmill, the well, gearing for right, the windmill. The Great House walls. The coordinations who owned Betty's Hope seldom inhabited their great house. From time to time, it fell into disrepair 
as a result of lack of use. This house was inhabited until 1960 and was burnt in 1986. Its inner walls were part of one of the original factory buildings, which was later converted into a rather impressive dwelling. And you can see what's left of the place. Base Hope Restoration is supported by the Antigua and Barbuda Rochester Partners of the Americas, 1994. And here is the visitor's home. Here you can see the uh, diagram of the place that uh, they call the boiling house. And this is the structure of what's left of the boiling house. Hey, honey. And, and there's Nancy. This is uh, base open and now these are just pictures of what it looked like before. Another picture. There's a stark contrast in what we have outside and these pictures. Okay, we're at Devil's Bridge. We are now at the rum distillery on the other side of uh, Guadalupe. We're looking at one of the flowers at the uh, Here's some more flowers. And here are some more flowers. And if you haven't seen enough, there's some more. They're on. Hi. Look how beautiful these flowers are. You got thorns though, so you gotta be careful. Just wanted to share that with you. And this is for those butterfly lovers from the uh, Atlantic deck on the Mega Liner. What's the name of this Mega Liner? And there's another butterfly on the Inspiration. And this is one of the pictures the auction that's going to take place today somewhere in the gallery and that's a structure what they call the bird of paradise in the center of the gallery and you can see the front of the ship and you can see endless sea and sky We're looking in on the uh, the track that you can run around to uh, get your exercise in and work off all that food that you eat while you're on one of these cruises. Here we're on the inspiration. This is our fun day at sea. If you haven't noticed, we've been having a lot of fun doing videotaping all the things that are going around, going on around us. And here is just, what is this? This is endless sea, just forever and ever. There's a whole lot of things going on in the deck, so we'll probably just stop video taking and just have fun. You can see the butterflies in this picture. You're seeing some beautiful butterflies. This is the butterfly farm in the Luba. Here, there's one there. See the little ones and the big ones and the blue ones? That's pretty. Wow. Look at this. There's a bunch of them over here. Honey, <laughs> right, look at this. Oh my goodness. Just the farm alone is beautiful. And of course you add the butterflies. And that adds a certain beauty to it. 
Fishies! There's a beauty. I don't know if you can see that blue one. There's like a whole bunch of them in there somewhere. master bedroom. And here we have the front of our home, humble abode with a little bit of the carport and a little bit of the backyard. Now we're going to take you downtown to see all the sights. And here we have the Navy Lodge. This is a Navy Exchange complex. It's got a little deli snack bar, ice cream shop, deli, uh, barber shop, beauty salon. Got a little bit of everything, just like a Kmart. This is our furniture store and our local McDonald's on base. This is our local food store on base, called our commissary. Here we have the Yacht Club. Here we have the new piers that they're putting in. This is our favorite place to go to eat. Uh, it's called Harbor Lights. It's good food and good stuff. Right here we have a view of the bay from up on uh, the hill. Here we have a shot of the bay and the hospital. Here we have the all hands beach. This is known as Jet Ski Beach. It's also a place where we go snorkeling. Real beautiful water here. From this hill right above Officer's Beach, you can see the island of Vieques. This is our favorite spot to come and talk and just enjoy the view. And here's a quick pan of that view. The water is beautiful today. We even have a fire station. And here we have the airport. You can see over yonder the uh, aircraft intermediate department. And you can see one of the P3s. And here is the base nine hole golf course. Yeah, military installations even have a golf course. And here we have the Bundy Fitness Center. Yeah, there's even a pool in there and all state of the art. Jimmy equipment. We even have a bowling alley. This is the dentist office and also the legal office. This is the family service center. This is the chapel. A welcome sign to the watchable wildlife area where you can see This is the observation deck, um, looking out onto the water, looking for the manatees. Oh, there's one out there. Let's see. Sorry about that scan. 
Sometimes they stick their heads out from the water. He's there, there he is. Wanna crossing. Wanna? There are the, the lizards. There's a bunch of them just hanging out in the road. We have iguanas, more iguanas. Hey, guys. Hey, dude. And there's the public pool on Midway Drive. This concludes our tour of Naval Station's Roosevelt Road. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Rose.